Hello everyone, Moose Torrent here, and today we're doing some PvP with the Bubble Bonk. Not really the best weapon for PvP, though PvE-wise, it is really good. It's weapon art, the Bubble Blaster. Actually does a ton of damage, especially to bigger enemies, but pretty hard to land in PvP, as you would expect. Though if you do hit it, it does do a decent amount of damage. So, it's actually called the Envoy's Longhorn, but I think Bubble Bonk is a better name. It does get a C in Strength and a B in Faith. We have 30 Strength and 50 Faith, giving us an attack power of 755 split with Physical and Holy. We have the Perfumer's Shield, in case we're going to parry. Probably not, though. We have Gravel Stone Seal to cast Miracles. Envoy Crown, I had to use it with the Bubble Bonk, though... It kind of limited my poise. I decided since I'm not going to have massive poise, I'm just going to go with clean rot armor, the bubble bonk. We'll have the bull Girl's talisman, but since I don't need the great jar's arsenal, I just put on the scar scourge heirloom, which raised my strength for a little extra damage. And we have Erdtree's favor and crimson amber medallion. If you really want to optimize this, you're probably going to want to go for full poise. So keep that in mind if you're if you're seriously considering the bubble bonk. <laughs> but I mean, how can you not use the envoy crown? I don't know. Anyways, let's get started. Looks like our opponent has the Naginata. That is a weapon for sure. Oh wow. Bubble! No damage at all from the bubble. Disappointment. Oh jeez, I'm out. Well, not out, but don't have enough. There we go. <laughs> the bubble. Brings the pain. Our opponent with literally four buffs. But he's using a knife, so maybe I'll let it slide, I don't know. <laughs> Oh no, the bubble burst. It's more of a blob, I suppose. Wow. 1185. That's some massive bubbles. Dude, now he's running away. I would love to get Elden Star bubble combo. Ooh, just out of reach. A little too late. The screen would just be covered in gold. Oh wow, got him. Another R2. Finished him off with the heavies. Our opponent's got the freaking... Oh, uh, what's that guy called? Smooth E.T. head. Five sixty four is decent, but not enough. It gave me some time to cast the Elden Stars. Got him with the blob. Little bubble. Little R one. Huh. Knocking out has got a really cool moveset. Oh, man. Wait, was that just the... Physic? Oh, but it was a heal physic. Hmm. I don't know how I feel about that. Oh! <laughs> Beat him with no physic. So in this specific case, I'll allow it. 
think that's a sham shear. Oh, got him with the R1. Getting me pretty good, though. Bubbleage! Oh my god! That was a lot of bubble, dude. Wow. He's still in it, though. He's not doing bad. Bubble for the win! No! Dude, I wish you couldn't just backstab this thing. Maybe if you could free aim it or something. It's kind of gross. Oh, God! Oh, wow. That was a good one. Opponent's got the Grave Scythe over there. Doesn't really have Grave Armor. He's got Knightly Armor and Gravely Scythe. No bubbleage. No smackage either. Ooh, there we go. <laughs> oh, 198 on the bubble. Bumble bonk. Can we do it? That was a good roll catch. What? No damage on my R2, even though it hit him. Weird. Oh, that's not what I want to do. <laughs> I'm gonna... Oh, man. I thought I was just getting slashed for sure. Wow, jumping R2. Must have thrown him off his game with that friggin' regen cast. There we go. Big bubbles. Oh, not that. There we go. Lantern. Light things up. Pawn's got a sort of Vike build, but with veteran's armor. I know everyone's tired of the veteran's armor. <laughs> I myself. I'm not thrilled to see it. Wow. Decent amount of damage there, probably because of the R1, though. Not necessarily the Elden Stars. Oh, God. He's doing it again. Nice little madness build this guy has. Nailed him with the R2 from the sky. He's got nothing on my bubbles. Totally avoided that. Ugh. <laughs> it's such a slow swing on the bubble bonk. Elden stars from the bush. <laughs> the animation from jumping and getting blob blasted in the middle of the sky. I should have looked before I summoned. Opponent's got double great lance. Only one handing it though. Wow. <laughs> First time I got hit by a great bow. This is a little unorthodox. There's the great lance I know and hate. I, I'm starting to hate this equally as much. <laughs> if you know what you're doing with those great lances, you can really just keep the pressure on so much. And it's just so oppressive, there's not much anyone can do. Although Great Lance, Great Bow strategy seems to be equally as oppressive.
surprised that hit me. Of course it would. And the quick step. This person may literally give me cancer. Just from fighting him in a... What? It was like to the right of me, whizzed past my shoulder, still took damage. Elden Ring is... It's the game. Hey! Can't tell what our opponent's using. Well, maybe a sword? Great sword. A we claymore, perhaps? Over the shoulder style? Got him with the R2. No R2 follow up though. He's very apprehensive. Okay. We're going to go for Elden Stars. Wow, he's not coming in at all. We'll go for the stars. Let him eat some cosmic rays. Bubble. Wow, we got the blob and the ball. <laughs> Dude, the Elden Star bubble combo. Opponents duel. They were dual wielding straight swords. Now they have a banished knight shield instead of one of the swords. Fear the bubble. Usually when they have a fast weapon, they're more aggressive. This guy's rather passive. <laughs> Got him with the R1 to the head. Probably should have did more damage even because I conked him on the... I'm trying to think of a funny word for head. But nothing's popping up here. The coconut. <laughs> That's so dumb. Oh, why'd I do it? Alright, I'm gonna try to run away for some Elden Stars, and if he rushes, I'll do a bubble. Wasn't really a rush, but... Wow, got him with some bubblage, though. I'll give him a choice. He has to either rush to block the Elden Stars, or... Okay, I was gonna say or face the wrath of the bubble but then he did that carry in retaliation and I was like did not expect that <laughs> oh so close got the trade for the win GG my friend the dreaded double lance like I can defeat a bad double lance player, but good ones I don't think I could even touch. Got some damage in, but my god. He did like about the same. Looks pretty similar. Oh, what was that? I don't like it. Like my Bubble went back in time just to bubble him. God, those jump attacks. I think our opponent cast Blood Flame on his sword. Could also just be regular flame, though. Trade it with my rolling attack. I think we actually came out on top with that one. Got him with the R2 follow-up. Does so much damage. Oh, he's pulling out the spear. And bubble to the face for the win. This great axe against Bubble Bonk. Who will win? Oh, got him in mid-air. Wow. I gotta say, I'm giving this one to the Bubble Bonk. Such bubblage. Oh, 
Oh no, don't get behind me. <laughs> wow. That was that was like the only time the poise was actually bad for me because I was able to withstand a hit and not break the animation. So he just hit me again. <laughs> oh no, wrong slotted item. There we go. Not the backstab. Still alive. Well, this is not good. All right. You got me this time. Our opponent's got a great sword. Got the Zamor helmet. I knew he was going to do that. That I was not sure on, but worked out. Wow, he ran right into the bubble. He's staying close. <laughs> ran away from the bubble that time. Oh, it broke my poise. You can put that on a great sword. Dude, the weapon arts in this game are just busted. Bubble! I'm not sure exactly how the poise is working. I think hammers get hyper armor. But it's been a while since I checked that out. This is Moose Torrent, and I'll be back with another video for you guys shortly.